The Indian Ocean has been an important maritime trade route for thousands of years. It has played a crucial role in exchange of goods, ideas and culture, shaping the history and development of many ancient civilizations. Even today, Indian Ocean trade route remains vital to the economies of many countries across the world. The Suez Canal The Strait of Hormuz Strait of Bab al-Mandeb Mozambique Channel Strait of Malacca Sanda and Lombok Strait are the major global shipping routes for trade in the Indian Ocean region. The largest country in the region, India, situated right in the center of Indian Ocean region, is the fastest growing major economy in the world. Its trade volume has steadily increased over the years. Approx 70% of its total trade is carried by maritime trade routes through the Indian Ocean, and India's dependence on maritime trade will continue to grow in the coming years. Therefore, it has become very important for India to secure these vital sea lanes for trade expansion and here Indian Navy plays a pivotal role. India already has large number of bases along with its very long coastline which are enough to serve its interest in nearby regions. But over last 20 years, China has been expanding its presence through development of its string of pearls strategy around India which involves the establishment of naval bases and ports along with the key maritime sea routes. If India wants to secure its backyard, it has to expand its presence by increasing number of bases outside its region. India has already signed a number of agreements with other countries to build bases on their territory. In 2018, India gained access to Oman's Dukham port for logistic and military support which allows it to sustain long-term operations in the Western Indian Ocean, a hotspot for piracy. Since then, the Indian Navy has increased naval activities in the Western Arabian Sea. It has also deployed an attack submarine along with destroyer INS Mumbai and two long-range P-8I maritime patrolling aircraft. The port is strategically located near state of Hormuz and state of Bab al-Mandab. So this means now India can widen its presence near these global maritime sea routes. The state of Hormuz is the largest choke point for oil trade, while state of Bab al-Mandab provides access to the Suez Canal. Dukham port is also located close to Chabahar port in Iran. India has heavily invested in Chabahar port. Chabahar port will serve as a gateway for India to the Central Asia, bypassing Pakistan. In future, Chabahar port will link International North-South Corridor, a 72,000 km multi-model transport corridor that combines road, rail and maritime routes connecting St. Petersburg in Russia to Mumbai to boost trade with Europe and Central Asian countries. Chabahar port is very close to Gwadar port in Pakistan. Presently, Gwadar port as a part of CPAC project serves as China's gateway to the Middle East, bypassing Malacca. Chabahar port will be a good option for India to counter China in Gawadar. So this means with Dukham port, now India can monitor on all three sides. In the southwestern of the Indian Ocean region, India is looking to set up a military base in Seychelles Assumptions Island, located close to Mozambique Channel, an important shipping route for Atlantic around the southern tip of Africa between Madagascar and Southeast African coastline. With the base in Assumption Island, India can monitor Mozambique Channel and Eastern African region. India is competing with China with trade in Africa. It has emerged as one of the top five investors in the African region in recent years. Currently, China is Africa's largest trading partner. If India wants to expand its trade in the African region, then it is essential to secure maritime trade routes and due to proximity to the Eastern African region, Assumption Island would be a good option. But despite series of meetings, Seychelles is not sure about handling over the island to India. So in this case, Agalega Island of Mauritius will be an alternative option. This remote Mauritian island is located in the southwestern Indian Ocean, close to major shipping routes, which makes it an ideal choice for India to develop a military base. India is investing $250 million for developing an airfield port and communication hub on this remote island. Airstrip and hangars will support Indian Navy's P-8I submarine hunting aircraft 
to perform multiple operations like anti-submarine warfare, anti-surface warfare, intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance missions to keep eye on Chinese activities in the region. In addition, India has activated its first listening post in Madagascar, a key monitoring station complete with radars and surveillance gear to intercept maritime communication. Similar listening monitoring stations are made in Oman, Kochi and Mumbai. Agalega is not only Indian Ocean Island India is planning to make a base. There is another island in the southeast of Indian Ocean region India is eyeing. Cocos Island of Australia is strategically located near Sanda and Lombok state of Indonesia, an important maritime route as an alternative to Malacca. There are high possibilities that India and Australia could sign a pact on mutual use of island and in return Australia will be able to access India's most strategic Andaman and Nicobar Island situated very close to Malacca Strait. India and Australia are very about increasing presence of Chinese submarines in their backyards. Intelligence gathering through radars with the help of these islands provide an opportunity for coordinated and joint anti-submarine warfare missions in the Indo-Pacific region. Andaman and Nicobar Islands are the group of islands in the northwest of Indian Ocean region situated very close to Malacca Strait, world's second busiest waterway for oil trade after the state of Hormuz. Around $3.5 trillion maritime trade passes through this region annually. India's around 50% of maritime trade goes through Malacca. Hence, it is extremely important for India to secure this region. And for that, India has started investing heavily in building military infrastructure on the island. China is excessively dependent on the state of Malacca for its trade and energy. China's two-thirds of maritime trade and 80% of oil passes through this region which makes state of Malacca extremely important for China's economy. Therefore, China is adopting a string of pearl strategy around India and to suppress growing Chinese presence, India is making counter offers to the nation who are part of string of pearls either by developing infrastructure or by forming military ties with the nation. India is also collaborating and conducting multiple naval exercises with the other navies in the region for information sharing and intelligence gathering. Intelligence input from other friendly navies will help India to track movement of Chinese submarines and warships in the Indian Ocean. India's access to foreign bases will not only strengthen India's capability to monitor vital sea lanes but also allow it to display as a dominant power in the region. It will be no surprise if India seeks new naval bases in the other areas of the Indian Ocean region in future.